I'm here on the trade show floor at Event Solutions. Um, we are here looking at the Tablescape competition and I'm representing the UK Academy of Wedding and Event Planning and I'm hoping that the table I have picked is going to win. I'm here with two lovely ladies. Jennifer Jackson from Jennifer's Event Management Company. And Nestle Palacios from Nestle's Floral Design and Events. So the table here in front of me is entitled To Russia With Love. It's absolutely beautiful and I want to know what your inspiration was behind the table. Yes. So our inspiration actually came when we were watching the Olympics. We were watching Sochi and just fell in love with the photos and the landscape of Russia and thought that it would be such a beautiful um, concept to use for our tablescape. Well your colours are absolutely phenomenal. How did you come up with the actual colours themselves? Well, you know, we wanted it to have a rich look and we wanted to capture the environment and the nature and show all the different textures. So actually, these pictures show the concept of how we developed everything. So we have the Russian fashion show that you see the tapestry and the furs because most people when they when they're asked about Russia, they think of the furs. So that kind it kind of develops from there. The fur, the tapestry, we wanted it warm and inviting and to be able to incorporate the nature. Well, you've certainly done that, and I love the fur edition. It's beautiful. So just one last question. What story are you trying to tell? Because I know with the design of most tablescapes, there is a story. Yes. Well, the story basically is that there's so much art out in nature, and what we wanted to do was to imitate art. We wanted to bring uh, life, uh, the imitation of life into our art, and Russia just uh, presented such a beautiful landscape. Well, I think you've done a wonderful job. I'm voting for you, and I want the UK choice to win, so fingers crossed. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, it's Christine, and I'm reporting for the Australian Academy of Wedding and Event Planning today from Event Solutions. I have found the perfect table. This is the one that I'm picking as the winner of the competition, uh, and I'm with David, and he's going to tell us about his fabulous table today. Hi, David. How are you? Now, David, where are you from? What's your business? We're the Venues Group. We're a group of special event venues located in Scottsdale and Las Vegas, actually. Is this the first year that you've entered the tabletop competition here? Uh, for this show, it's our first year in this tabletop show. Okay. And David, tell me about the inspiration behind this table. Well, it became really easy. We had a group of engineers that came in and wanted something completely different. And I actually, my husband works in a university where he's in the chemistry group. So we kind of had our worlds collide with event planning and chemistry. And so we created a little bit of chemistry couture. Uh, we did each individual's names with the, the elements um, and had a good time with it. Okay. And what's the story that you're trying to tell with this table? Something completely different, a little bit edgy. Obviously going through the molecular gastronomy menu portion of it, uh, we have the instruments to use as picks for the small plates and small foods. But something that you can be functional, but a little bit different and edgy. Uh, Breaking Bad is a huge show, which had this included as well. So it was kind of taking you away from the normal sit-down, formal plated floral dinner to something a little more fun. Okay. So what sort of menu was paired with this table? Do you know? We had um, some caviar beads that were done. We had some liquid nitrogen frozen lobster bisque that we could do actually. And then we wrapped uh, frozen um, bay leaves around that and you eat that and it melts in your mouth. Um, you actually do a lot of frozen desserts and baked Alaskas that you can then set on fire and do some chemical balances for it. So. Great. Well, I love this table because I think it's an out-of-the-box design and I also like the colour and the use of white and, and um, the luminous effect. So I'm picking this one as a winner today. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Hi, this is Tiffany representing the Wedding and Event Institute in the United States and I'm here at the Event Solutions Conference with Martin with Common Plea Catering and this is part of the Tablescape contest of the Event Solutions trade show. He's created this beautiful display and I thought we would uh, talk to Martin a little bit about his inspiration and show you guys a little bit of his fabulous design. So Martin, thank you so much for being here. Oh, and thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Obviously, if anyone knows anything about Snow White, uh, they can kind of see a little bit of the theme going on, but tell us a little bit about what inspired you to create this gorgeous setup. Okay, well, we have a whole group of people that work with us, and our tagline for our company is anything but common. So what we did was we took a little bit of Snow White we made it a little bit dark, but still hopefully elegant enough that you will want to have dinner with us. 
and we started with a theme, of course, the poison apples, which were the key for the event. And we did the table, we did the glassware, and the uh, rest grew. Oh, it's a fantastic setup, and I particularly like the hologram, if anyone's noticed, behind us. Yes. Um, but all the little details, and also, it's a functional thing, and obviously as a caterer, Correct. that's probably something you want to consider. Because you want to reuse things. In catering, you can keep, unless you have a giant warehouse where you can keep packing things, you need to reuse things. For instance, the chandelier was a candelabra that we were no longer using, so we were sitting in our, move, in our meeting deciding what we were going to do. We said, we need a chandelier. We had turned this upside down. We said, oh, spray it black. We sprayed it black. Then we said, oh, it needs twigs. So then we brought the twigs and then the crystals to cause the buds, and then we had a chandelier. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Yeah. I think it's no electricity, so you could take it and put it anywhere, and it works. And they're LED candles, too. LED candles for the lighting, and then there is electricity in our tented area here, so there, we did shine a spot down on it. That's a beautiful piece, and anything you want to share about the table? Sure. Everything on this table has to do with some sort of theme. People think they need to use China for everything. What we did is we went to Bed Bath & Beyond, and because the wicked stepmother, or the wicked witch, always looked in the mirror to find out how beautiful she was, we did perfume trays and makeup mirrors to use as a china. The glassware came from Pier 1. Because it had a crackle finish, we thought it would work well for that, and we use them. Everything was on sale. We buy a lot on sale, we buy a lot that is reused. No, and it shows you that elegance and beauty and expensive taste can be easily obtainable as well. <laughs> On a budget. On a budget, and it comes together, and I think it looks yeah. fantastic. So much, much luck and success to you. I certainly thank you, thank you for thank being you. here. It's a pleasure. Thanks for hitting us up here. No, it's great. And so, uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys it and gets a little taste of all of this magic. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi everybody, this is Allison Howard with the Wedding and Event Institute and I am so excited to be here in front of this gorgeous table, such great inspiration for it and I can't wait to talk to, tell me, tell me how to pronounce your name again. Fotini. My name is Fotini Williams. Fotini, right? Did I say it right? Yay! Um, and I chose this table, I'm representing the US and I know it's going to win because it is so unique, it is so interesting and if I were a bride or somebody having a child, I would want to sit at this table for a shower, wouldn't you? Alright, so let's talk about your inspiration behind this table. The bubbles, the bathtub on the table, where did this come from? Um, to be honest with you, I basically had, I was passing into sh in a shop and I saw these Christmas ornaments, something very simple, but they were iridescent and they looked just like a bubble. And I thought, you know, that's perfect. They're bubbles. It's beautiful. Great, a great theme. Um, and then I came to find a, a infant bathtub, and I thought, you know what? This is a theme. This is perfect. It would be great. I was pregnant at the time with my with my uh, one year old now Sophia, and I thought, you know, how much fun is this? Then we turned it into that uh, into you know we turned it into a theme. So everything is custom made um, and hand done. Custom linens, you know, the chair covers and such are all towels. Um, you know, the bubbles again are ornaments of all strange things but yeah. and and what I love about it is every detail is here when it comes to the bubble bathtub kind of inspiration I love that the seat covers are towels how cute is that terry cloth towels and then of course you have um, little delights all over the table that are very spa oriented and I think it's great for a spa day that was very very interesting anything else that you want to tell us about your table and why you think it should win in our competition well I do think because it is incredibly unique um, I, I think it's inspirational, I think it draws you in and it relaxes you, makes you feel good. Um, and it's just, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, hopefully beautiful, hopefully yes. people really enjoy it. You know, again, everything is custom made, it is very theme oriented, all of the favors and everything, it, it's all uh, bath products. We did a custom menu, a champagne um, menu yeah. off of it, and of course, hopefully we'll be, you know, uh, popping that bottle of champagne later to celebrate. Hey, well, you can count me in. I would love to do that with you. Well, this was absolutely my pick for the most interesting and unique table here at the trade show. I love that it's different from anything that I have ever seen, and it should win, so place your votes. Thank you so much for being here and telling me more about your table, and I look forward to uh, sharing with you all soon. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Shazia Manikia with the Wedding and Event Institute, and I'm here at the Event Solutions Tablescape Contest, and this table is my choice to be the winner to, for the contest. Um, and these are, are the table designers. Can you introduce yourselves? Jillian Ziska and Ashley Nowak. Can I get the name of your company and where you're located? Sure, we're Coastal Events in San Diego, California. 
And can you explain to me what is the theme behind your table and how you came about? Sure. Um, so every at each wedding, we always you know post a picture of the wedding or of the couple, and we always use a hashtag "Love is in the air." So when we had the opportunity to design this table, we said, "Oh, let's use that hashtag." We're constantly talking about how love is in the air, and um, we really felt like it'd be super neat to do something a little bit different, step out of the box, and really bring that euphoric feeling of you're floating on clouds when you first fall in love and at your wedding, and just that whole idea of wow, this is really the most amazing moment ever. And so we wanted to recreate that in a fun tablescape and, and literally float it. <laughs> it, was, it was quite the challenge, though, because we had to stay within $500 for our category. And so, thank goodness, Jillian's dad has a background in design and building, and so he wrote out plans for us. We got to Vegas. We went to Lowe's. We literally picked out all the wood, drilled it ourselves, and built the entire cabana from scratch. So it was quite an undertaking, but it was a lot of fun, and I, I think we yeah. pulled it off, so it was, it was a good time. That's great. Now, do you? You said you went to Lowe's. Now, did you use most of these? Are just retail stores that you sourced from, or do you use big vendors, or do you do a little bit of both? We do a lot of small vendors. Um, the baskets are from Michaels. The paper lanterns are from Party City. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, Home Goods is one of our favorite places, and then of course the thrift store. So when you're doing anything under, you know, in a budget, you really have to be as creative as you possibly can to just reinvent the wheel. The chargers are spray painted. Spray paint is like my number one favorite thing because you can transform something in a minute into something different. So I would say on our side of things, when we design for our clients and stuff, we're really using more smaller retail stores. Um, we do do a little bit online, but for the most part it is, you know, whatever's local. Yeah. And for this tablescape, the only thing that's actually rented are the clear ghost shivari chairs from RSVP Party Rental, which is a local company, and they were fantastic. We got out here. They were totally willing to help us and get it in time. Um, so we did use that as a rental, but everything else was all pieced together from finding things. So wow, that's great. Um, can you tell me what your design process is? Do you sit there and do inspiration boards or do you sit there and just kind of brainstorm? <laughs> we have we have a very different, I am the designer in our, in our company, so um, we're an event design and coordination company. So Ashley handles a lot of the coordination and then I kind of am the visionary who has the ideas. Um, so in my head, I put it all together of kind of what I'm thinking and then we'll play off of each other and I'll pitch something and go, okay, what do you think of this? And she'll go, okay, I really like item one but we might need to work on item two there how's that going to really work or you know what are you thinking so we depend if we're doing it for a client we absolutely do a design board when it comes to this kind of stuff bridal shows any type of trade show I go more into it just being more of the free spirit of just let's just see what happens and then we tweak as we go and of course nothing is ever perfect necessarily but you know we get to exactly where we're hoping for um, so yeah. We went through a lot of different processes with this design because we wanted to incorporate the butterflies and originally we had gotten those feather butterflies which can be really beautiful but also can kind of be a risk and so with this once we found the plates with the actual gold butterfly we decided we wanted to incorporate it on the lanterns and in the hydrangea is more of a concept so kind of emulating that with the actual paper that we spray painted so that it wasn't so literal and it was more just light and feathery even even lighter than an actual yeah. feather butterfly so it's kind of a process as, as you find things adding other elements that still go with it and make the whole vision come together. We have a lot of things to return. <laughs> we'll put it to you that way. <laughs> well, that's an, a, that's where my next question would be. When you buy a lot of these things, do you repurpose them for other events? Do you return them? Does the client buy them? What do you do with the... It really depends on the client. It depends what we're purchasing. If it's something that we can absolutely reuse, um, I have this thing where, as a designer, I can't do the same design twice. I just won't do it. Um, so a lot of things, if I am, it's going to be repurposed, something totally different. We might take these baskets and we might paint them a different color so that they look different. Um, but for the most part, we keep a lot of stuff in-house um, just for us to either use for mock-ups for clients or um, just to have you know, in, in, our, in our inventory. Um, but otherwise, we're typically we're typically buying individual stuff for each event. But there are some things that we do reuse occasionally. It just depends. Great, thank you, ladies. I love this table. I love the, if you look at the design. There's little butterflies, and there's a small touches of the, everything. It all works together very, very well. Thank, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much.